So with that, the next thing I did want to talk about is people having fear of burning their lawn. Because one of the questions I get a lot is, hey, Alan, now that we're in the heat of the summer, can I apply Carbon X? The answer is yes, you can apply it. You're not going to burn anything. However, you may want to back it down to a lighter rate because I just don't want to push growth too hard in the summer. And we have a question that kind of comes up about this a little bit. But for the most part, you're not going to burn it. There is not a correlation between hot temperatures and fertilizer. The two things don't correlate. Now, it's not a good idea to push a lot of growth. And so if you put down too much nitrogen fertilizer in summer and it's hot and you push the lawn to grow, but it's not irrigated and the heat hits it, even like, again, you know, Kentucky bluegrass does not like temperatures over 85. I don't care how healthy it is. So if you bomb your lawn with heavy nitrogen and you have temperatures over 85, that can burn the lawn out. In other words, that can make it fizzle out or peter out, almost like taking you, if you haven't eaten or had any carbohydrates in several days, and sending you out in the heat and making you sprint for 500 yards, you're going to burn out. You're not burned. The sun didn't burn you, but you're burned out just because you just lit off too fast without the right support. And that's what can happen. But for the most part, fertilizer itself is not physically going to burn your lawn. Now, if you spill it, like I mentioned, it will. But if you're just applying heavy, not going to burn the lawn, so don't be concerned. But what what happens is people will go to the store and they don't read what's on the bag and they end up getting weed and feed, and that can burn the lawn if you put it down in heat without irrigation. But it isn't necessarily the fertilizer by itself that's doing a burn. Even if you applied it at double the rate, that's not the case. It's the weed control. The weed control, remember, weed killer is going to kill a plant. That's what it is. Selective broadleaf weed killer kills plants. It just doesn't kill lawns when it's put down according to the label. But if you put it down too heavy and when it's too hot, that's why a lot of weed controls say not to apply over 85 degrees, even the granular ones will say that, If you break the rule and you apply that over 85 and you apply it too heavy, then yes, you can burn the lawn. And that's where I go back to saying, when I worked for True Green, thousands and thousands of lawns we treated. We did not burn very many, but the ones that we did burn, I would go out and fix them. That's where I fell in love with a tool called the garden weasel. I know I've heard Pete use a garden weasel before. Pretty much anybody that's ever had to do any kind of lawn repairs in the lawn treatment industry has used a garden weasel. You rough up the area, you put some seed in, you rough up the area again, you drop some Scotch Patch Master on top, which is what I always use, or peat moss, water it in for the customer, and walk away and hope for the best, and you're usually going to do pretty well. But most of the burns that I came across were burned from weed control. In a lot of cases, what we would find is is that it would be at the end of the day and the specialist would be tired, so he'd be walking a little bit slower, which would equate for a heavier app than normal. And then the other thing would be, because it's later in the day, you know, and late in the day for us was two or three o'clock because we would start at 5.30 in the morning. It's two or three o'clock in the afternoon. It's been over 85 all day. They pull the hose on the truck and they spray that weed control, and even and it's over 85, and that's what would happen, and that would burn the lawn, but it wasn't from fertilizer, and even that was few and far between. So I just wanted to clarify that. From whenever I've seen lawns burned, it's typically from weed control. That was in my professional life, and it's also now when I talk to DIYers, and it's usually from a product that is a granular product that they have put down too heavy because it's a weed and feed, and they figured more was going to be better, and they put it down at an 85 degree temperature in the summer, and it's the weed control that burns the lawn and not the fertilizer. So it's very important, and that's why I teach you guys the why behind everything. It isn't just about going and grabbing this bag and following the label and throwing down. You need to understand why you're doing it, what you're doing, and that way when you get a result that you don't like, you can go back and review and go, all right, I'm not going to do that again. Because typically, if you burn your lawn, it will be the last time you burn your lawn. I've never really known anyone to do it more than once because typically you learn your lesson from there. If you do burn your lawn, by the way, the uh, biggest cure for it is water. Water every single day, water deep, and do that for a month. And in most cases, in many cases, your lawn will come back. I've even seen lawns burned with Roundup where someone grabbed Roundup, which is a non-selective herbicide. It will kill pretty much everything that's green in your lawn. They grab that thinking that's something they can use in the lawn and they go out and hose it down and they will kill large sections of their lawn. But if you water a lot, water a lot, and you got to water it quick, in a lot of cases, even that will come back because you didn't get a heavy enough app in some places, the roots survive, some of the crowns survive, whatever. A lot of that will come back. If that does happen to you though, in the fall time, that's when you aerate and overseed and as always, hope for the best.